F16 F16 Rack Tutorial 3 PEQ Page To find out more on these sections, please refer to Tutorial 2. The EQ configuration page is similar for both input and output channels. The difference between input and output PEQ is A. High pass filter for input channel B. Low pass filter for group 4 output C. Low pass filter not available for AUX1 through AUX4 and group 1 through group 3. High pass filter. Tapping on this button will enable high pass filter. With the frequency text display selected, use the general on-screen fader to adjust the parameter. Or use the physical rotary adjuster to adjust the parameter. This button 1 is responding to the drag point 1 in the graph above. When this button is selected, the frequency, gain, and Q button below will change to correspond with the selected button. The same is applied when tapping on buttons 2, 3, and 4. Tapping on the drag point 1, 2, 3, or 4 in the graph area will allow the user to quickly drag to adjust the selected point frequency and gain value. When the frequency button is selected, use the general on-screen fader to adjust the frequency. Alternatively, use the physical rotary adjuster to adjust the frequency. Hold down the rotary adjuster for fine-tuning. When the Gain button is selected, use the general on-screen fader to adjust the gain value. Alternatively, use the physical rotary adjuster to adjust the gain value. Hold down the rotary adjuster for fine-tuning. When the Q button is selected, use the general on-screen fader to adjust the Q value. Alternatively, use the physical rotary adjuster to adjust the Q value. Hold down the rotary adjuster for fine-tuning. The bypass button will bypass the PEQ settings for this channel when applied. The flat button will reset the settings back to default value. The library drop-down arrow button will bring up the library page. For more information on how to use a library, refer to the library tutorial video. Thank you for watching. Should you have any questions, please visit our website or drop us an email. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial video.